Hello friends, crafters, and uh, maybe you're new to the junk journal world. Um, I welcome you in. Uh, this is part of the collaboration and challenge with Kara Brandon and Dear Julie Julie, using their beautiful art to create something for seven days and uh, watching it transpire and go between crafters and artists and our perspective and take on um, what we bring to uh, this particular challenge. So here I'm using day one's uh, collage of tags and ephemera. I have chosen this large tag and I'm gonna use it to make a special tuck spot and glassine bag uh, ephemera holder. This will go in a larger compartment and then a larger <laughs> From folio uh, mostly because I cannot be stopped <laughs> so here I'm tracing out a um, heavy cardstock paper to rest behind my tag and I'm just gonna cut that right down the size in the frame you can see my archival ink and my Tim Holtz tea dyed distress ink I'll be using those throughout the entire project and sometimes I use coffee is a dye, uh, alcohol ink, but I'm never far away from a distress ink. I actually love the way it grunges up a page, gives it the worn effect, like it's really been used and loved. So here I'm measuring up my tag to make sure they're about the same size, and I know that I want it to be a tuck spot, I don't want it to just be a standalone tag. It's so big and it can be used for so many things. My thought process in the whole challenge is based around my garden. Um, I try to salvage seeds every year and save them to the next year's garden just to watch it and know that I had a those seeds had a legacy. So I'm thinking all throughout this project that it's a seed saver folio. Um, and in that aspect, this tag needs to have a space to hold. Uh, this beautiful piece of rickrack is a bit troublesome, and I don't end up using it in this particular project, but I will use it eventually uh, because A, I love rickrack, and B, I've worked on this particular little tiny piece of rickrack for weeks now. I tried to dye it in coffee for a few days, and it just would not take the coffee. Uh, so here I'm spritzing it with some diluted alcohol ink, and that did the trick. Um, but I end up setting it aside and not using it. The red's a little too bold for this particular uh, tag, and I think it'll be too big a focal point. So after grunging it up and getting it to where I like it uh, for now, I'm just going to set that aside. That little pocket right there, or a piece from the collage, I don't end up using it in this project either, um, but that's okay, because I will soon. Um, I take my glassine bag, and I decide that this is what I want on the back. I love the texture and the feel and the sound of a glassine bag. It's uh, a waxy, um, delicate uh, type of textile no I guess it's a textile maybe I don't know um, but it's a, a great little bag but you don't realize how sturdy it is until you use it in a junk journal but this is where I measure it out I'm gonna cut it right down and I'm gonna secure it to my tag with the sewing machine you could use glue uh, there's plenty of glues that work just fine with this and will hold a glassine bag to paper. But then I can't get the wonderful stitches um, with my sewing machine if I use glue. I'm just not willing to gunk up my machine and feed dogs with glue like that. I have a dedicated sewing machine just for junk journals. Um, and that's not to brag or say that I have all these machines. I just have a very nice embroidery machine and I don't sew paper on it. It's strictly for uh, sewing material and bonnets and such for my sweet grandbabies. 
So here I use my hole punch and use half of it to make a finger notch so that whatever's in my glassing bag I can pull out easily. I should have put a piece of paper behind it to get a really smooth cut and I was, you know, just rushing and didn't do that. So right here I'm going to line it up carefully with my uh, paper to back my tag and my glassing bag. Off camera slightly, sorry about that. I'm new to uh, longer videos and better at taking snapshots of my projects. <laughs> and uh, this is a voiceover as well. So in the background, you'll hear my sweet bonus daughter coughing a few times, but she's on the mend and uh, just getting those morning coughs out of the way. <laughs> Uh, but I use my handy dandy uh, clothes pins to secure the bag and the lining to the tag because if I don't I will set it down and it will be lost to the paper guards um, here I'm just getting ready to uh, decide to go on and sew my uh, pieces together to the tag and I'm going to write you a little note and tell you that I'll be right back and I really will off a go to the sewing machine all right i'm back and as you can see i've sewn all the way around my tag stopping every now and then changing to a zigzag and back to straight stitch for fun i take my little ring it's just a, a you know like a jewelry ring i'm twisting a little piece of scrap micro gingham into it it's been uh, ran over a few times with the Distress ink as well. And I love, love, love the frayed edges. So I twisted it just to give it, again, a bit of interest. I'm going to go back to my handy dandy little sewing machine. And I'm going to stitch this down. I want to use a straight stitch as well as a um, zigzag stitch. Not only for interest and eye appeal, mostly my eye appeal, um, but for strength too. This is the pull tab that we will be using to pull this large ticket that has a bag on the back that will potentially hold other things. So we want to make sure it's held down very well and uh, secured in place with multiple stitches and uh, you notice that I do use a contrasting color. Um, I am prone to stick whatever thread I have within reach, gray, black, blue, green, red, pink, into my paper sewing machine um, because the randomness of it, uh, it just gives me so much happiness. <laughs> it sounds silly, but in the junk journal world, I feel like you people understand me. Um, my other sewing machine, I would never do anything like this. I do leave my threads, again, for a bit of interest. And it adds to the used, uh, loved, uh, tattered look. I like direct ink to paper on my junk journals. Um, I don't always use that. I will use a dauber with a felt tip to give it a soft hue of distress ink um, but when I take the direct ink to paper it really gives it that grunge feel um, not dirty not at all uh, a dirty grungy look but a used it's been pulled in and out of the seed saver catalog uh, my hands were dirty when I was in the garden and I you know um, harvested these bell pepper seeds and now I'm putting them in my seed saver book uh, here I have a tiny little stamp of flowers. I'll be using it throughout the Seed Saver Folio. And I've got paper galore all over the place. Uh, fabric pieces just sitting around waiting to be used in this. Now this is another tag from the Day One collab. And it's a bit big for my glassing bag at the moment. So I'm going to, uh, you know, shave it down a bit. First, I start off with scissors, and that's always a good start, but I know me, I'm going to tear it. You just wait and see. This green on this tag 
is not the same green that's on the front of the uh, watermelon tag and I think that's my favorite part about it. This green that's behind the polka dot really has more of a teal color and the contrast is just beautiful. Uh, I do love to tear most of my paper. I can tear it with a ruler and that's fine if I need it more precise. Uh, but when you take the direct ink to paper to this torn edge, it really for some reason just exposes the fibers better and soaks up the ink. You can see right there it just takes it on better than the cut edge. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with the rest of it yet. Uh, so I kind of experiment. Is it going to be um, a bookmark? Is it going to be just a regular tag? Um, am I going to cover up the word watermelon with a little piece of fabric? Which, that's always a sweet little thing. Not the cover-up part, but adding fabric to a uh, paper tag is always a good idea. I love the artwork, so I don't really want to cover it up. I know it'll fit in my bag now, but um, that little piece of paper there is too wide, and I don't want to cut it down. Um, I've got thread bundles and fabric I could add. Um, I don't really want to do that. It's not... It's taken away from the picture. Do I want to make it a tuck spot? A flip spot? What do I want to do? Well, we'll have to stay tuned for this. This is a uh, work in process. <laughs> and I just love it. 